National Pulse. This is interesting. Vaccine mandates were predicated on hope. Oh, isn't that nice? Rather than science, admits Deborah Burks. You remember Deborah? The gift that keeps on giving, I tell you. Former White House coronavirus response coordinator. This was under Trump, remember? Some of this stuff happened under Trump. That needs to be acknowledged. That needs to be discussed. Dr. Deborah Burks revealed that the federal government was relying on hope. How nice. That the COVID-19 vaccines would prevent infection when officials publicly stated that Americans who received the jab would become immune to the virus. They had hope. The admission came during a line of questioning by Representative Jim Jordan. Well done, Jim, as usual, who inquired to the former Trump administration official, when the government told us that the vaccinated couldn't transmit it, was it a lie or a guess? I think it was hope that the vaccine would work in that way. She said, I mean, could you even begin? I was like regurgitating my dinner when I saw this. She's turned my stomach for a long time. I'm not going to lie. And then it goes on to discuss Dr. Burks's comments follow a host of studies determining that the COVID-19 vaccine doesn't confer protection as comprehensively as natural immunity, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on and on. So I read this and I'm twisted. Why, you ask? Well... They had hope. Great, you had hope. Based off of that hope, people were fired. Mandates were instituted based off of nothing. People were deplatformed. People lost their jobs. People lost their businesses. They couldn't feed their families. They had to pick up and relocate to other states. Segregation was instituted in society based off of a hope. That's not going to work for me. That's not going to work for me, and it shouldn't work for you either. You know, I have a hope that Santa Claus is going to visit my house and he's going to gift me a wellness spa for Christmas. That would be amazing. I'd like to have a facial and a massage, you know, at an arm's distance. But I'm not going to plan my life around it because I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. You never know. Santa Claus is magical. Tyler knows that. But we need to think about what happened here. Without factual information, look at what they did to society Look at what maybe they did to you, to a friend, to a loved one who had a medical exemption, to whoever it may be. Look at what they did and what they got away with and what they've learned they could get away with. Imagine the audacity of her. Oh, we had a hope. That's admirable. You had a hope. You don't base policy off of a hope, Deborah. So now you have a whole bunch of people that are looking back on this and are getting real mad. They're getting really mad. And people wonder, you know, they say, well, Ted, why are you still talking about the vaccine? You know, well, I'm talking about it because people are still being penalized in the military for not getting the vaccine. People are still being discharged. People in certain companies, even if they work remotely, are still losing their jobs over this nonsense. This is not based on science. So I'm going to fight it until every last breath is out of me because this is nonsense. And I know too many people whose lives were destroyed by this nonsense. And by the way, if you think this is the last go around, <laughs> buckle up. This was a test. A lot of people failed. This was a test of what they can get away with. So I ask you, what's next? You better get ready. And the next time, you better have your fear in check. And you better know what's going on and what they're capable of and what they're willing to do to you based off of a hope. And I don't even believe that line, frankly. I think it's a lie. But if you take her at her word, give her the benefit of the doubt, what they were willing to destroy in your life based off of a hope. Do not forget that because round two is going to look very much like this, only they may go in a little stronger next time. <sighs> have you? This is a little older, yeah. and I need to do a deep dive, but have you seen uh, – let's see. Let's get to the top of this. This, is, this article is 2017, so it's a little older, but according to a 2009 study by Fairness and Accuracy in Reporting, with the exception of CBS, every major media outlet in the United States shares at least one board member with at least one drug company. Right. So Talk about, about a revolving... I mean, it's just... it's Yes. So they they permeate the every aspect of it. Right. Think about the coverage. And I've worked at these networks, so I can tell you that there are, there are sacred cows. There are things that you cannot say. And this was also a test of that, I'll tell you, because there were a lot of people at these networks that were all, you know, pro-freedom, pro-freedom. I'm, you know, I'm the freedom fighter, waving the American flag behind them. And then suddenly there was a vaccine mandate at their company, and they were like, well, I wasn't going to get it, but. 
Shh, I won't talk about that. I'll talk about something else. It's okay. I'll just. And they did that. They play. So there's your phonies, right, on display. Be willing to see it, though. Be willing to see it. So yes, Tyler is right. There is a, there is a ton of money. You remember that video brought to you by Pfizer, brought to you by, and it was all the major network news reports. You're going to tell me you're getting fair coverage, accurate coverage? They can't. There's too much money invested. And that same thing is happening when, when you have people who used to work. Oh, I used to work at Pfizer. Now I'm at the FDA and I'm on the board. And now it's like a revolving door. So just this needs to be looked into. People need to understand this stuff is going on. This is a profit-oriented business. There's a lot of corruption that runs deep. And your health is your health, right? I, I always say, if you don't have your health, you have nothing. And everyone at home knows this, right? You could be having the best day ever. You could be making all the money in the world. If you don't feel well and you feel that something's wrong, that's all you can think about. So everyone knows that your health comes first, number one. You know what they always say, if you have your health, everything else can wait. And that's the truth. And everyone who's been unwell at one point in their life knows that's the truth. So don't let them play the game. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.